a chapter a day to brighten your way. God loves you in the same way he loved David. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading Psalms chapter 51. Some of you may have wondered, since David made so many mistakes, including some truly outrageous actions, why did God still love him so much? I believe that you will understand the answer after reading today's psalm. This is a psalm of confession written by David, repenting for committing adultery with Bathsheba and murdering her husband Uriah by having him die in battle. David paid a great price for this incident and expressed his deepest remorse from the bottom of his heart. Let's read chapter 51 together. Psalm 51 to the choir master, a psalm of David when Nathan the prophet went to him after he had gone in to Bathsheba. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your steadfast love, according to your abundant mercy, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgressions and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only, have I sinned, and done what is evil in your sight, so that you may be justified in your words and blameless in your judgment. Behold, I was brought forth in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you delight in truth in the inward being, and you teach me wisdom in the secret heart. Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones that you have broken rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with a willing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and sinners will return to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, O God of my salvation, and my tongue will sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise, for you will not delight in sacrifice, or I would give it. You will not be pleased with a burnt offering. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart, O oh God, you will not despise. Do good to Zion in your good pleasure. Build up the walls of Jerusalem. Then will you delight in right sacrifices, in burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bowls will be offered on your altar. According to 2 Samuel chapter 12, after the incident, God severely rebuked David through a prophet. David's first reaction was to immediately confess his sin and pray for God's forgiveness. I believe this was one of David's most valuable attributes. Dear friends, God loves you in the same way he loved David. Even if we make mistakes and stumble, as long as we are willing to learn from David's heart of repentance, I believe God will listen. Today, let's encourage each other to come before God again, boldly admit our transgressions, seek His forgiveness, and ask God to cleanse our hearts and restore a righteous spirit within us. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, please forgive all my transgressions and never lead me away from You. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you and I love you too.